Hey, thanks so much for finding the video. Do us a favor. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Be sure to leave your comment. We love to interact. Enjoy the video. Man, what an unorthodox year for you to wrap up your college career. Now that it's been about a month, have you given yourself time to sort of think about your four years in Baton Rouge, how it transpired and how it ended? Yeah, uh, of course. I mean, you know, just, you know, after ending the year and, you know, just, you know, really going into this last um, year, my senior year, you know, like you said, it was unorthodox. And, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, you wouldn't um, – you know, that it's something that you wouldn't uh, just write down and hope, you know, hope uh, you have to go through for your last uh, year at LSU just with the COVID-19 and the protocols and, just, uh, and the no fans, just things like that you just wish uh, never would have happened. But, um, uh, you know, just looking back at it, and, and Coach O hit it on it a lot, was just about you're always able to go back and say, hey, that I fought, that I stuck, I stuck it out, and that, um, that I, that I that I didn't quit on my brothers, and we we you know although the season was tough, um, this last year we we, we stuck it out. You kind of went through it all, man. You came in as a five star, moved to offense, back to defense, became a star on a national championship team, came back for your senior year. You know, really uh, this year I don't think went any the way anybody hoped it would for LSU, but it it finished with a a, a high. I mean. Would you change if you could go back? Would you change anything about your time in Baton Rouge if you could do something over? Oh, definitely not. I mean, um, just like like you said, coming in and uh, uh, being my my position being changed and um, this this how my career unfolded at LSU. I wouldn't change a bit just because you know that that's the path that God you know he he wrote out for me. And he wanted me to uh, take um, and you know. Going back and reflecting, you know, for, uh, for on those four years, being changed to uh, tight end and being changed to receiver and uh, H back in Coach Canada's offense, I was able to be in the room with Coach E and leaders like Foster Moreau, and I got to learn. Um, I got to learn concepts that I didn't know coming in uh, as a high school player. Um, you know, being at receiver with the DJ Charks and the Russell Gages, I got to see their work ethic. I got to see um, also, again, things, uh, off, uh, how uh, receivers adjust their route um, to uh, certain coverages. And then, you know, coming into my sophomore year, um, you know, I was, uh, you know, I asked to be back put uh, put on defense, and Coach O was more than willing to let me do that. And, you know, I, you know, I started at safety, and I went to outside linebacker. So, I, I uh, at the time, Coach Aranda, uh -huh. I was able to see and have different perspective on um, on his defense, and it helped me. It helped me my junior year, and when it came to my senior year, I had enough knowledge uh, of the game to be able to uh, try to put my best foot forward that year. You played tight end. Yeah, I played tight end for for like a for like a week. <laughs> I, for, I, I don't remember that. Oh, um, like yeah. did that ever become public? Uh, I'm not sure, but I uh, if you ever if you ever see Coach E or Foster Moreau around, they'll tell you I was I was in I was in the room for about a week, a week and a half. <laughs> Man, I know <laughs> we we know it was a big storyline your freshman year. Them shuffling to try to find where you go. I never knew that you landed at tight end. I mean, like we always finish the show today with what we learned. I learned today that Jacoby Stevens played <laughs> tight end at LSU for a week. Hey, so you obviously finished on defense though, and and this like we mentioned this year defensively was just I mean it was not what the LSU standard was. It, what, if you had to put your finger on it, man, what? Happened like what happened that went so wrong defensively this year? Well, I, I think um, if I were to put my finger on anything, I would say uh, no, no off season. I mean, man, um, you know we had no off. We really didn't have like a, a true off season, and we had a you know we we just finished uh, the national championship run, and we had a lot of guys leave, and we had a lot of guy, young guys playing, and then we had. Guys that who really hadn't uh, played at LSU or uh, played uh, SC ball coming in, coming in to starting roles. Uh, not and not only that, we had a new coordinator coming in, and to say that we really didn't have a true off season to where coaches can be with players, um, the scheme can be taught, everybody can get one 
get uh, on one accord. We really didn't have that this year. So um, that plus being just thrown into an SEC West uh, uh, schedule, man, uh, that's that's not a good mixture for anybody that's playing uh, at a high level. Jacoby Stevens is with us, former LSU safety. I'll follow him on Instagram at Stevens underscore Jacoby. Man, I want to talk about what's next. Obviously, we, we talked about the news, no combine this year, no in-person workouts. How does this impact you, man? Like, how do you get ready for the draft with with NFL teams when you can't go work out for them? Right. Uh, I mean, right now, you know, I, you know, the, the best thing is to uh, keep working out, uh, keep preparing as if, uh, uh, keep preparing as if there uh, there's going to be an opportunity uh, to showcase uh, my skills. Uh, if that's you know uh, uh, an LSU pro day or that's uh, a video that you know some guys. Uh, did last year yeah. uh, when the pandemic first hit. So uh, right now it's just keep working out, keep training, and um, kind of like lessons, uh, use the lessons that I uh, took um, during uh, my last year as an LSU Tiger was just keep pushing. Um, obstacles are going to be thrown your way. Um, don't quit and, and keep working out and keep pushing. You're going to play in the Senior Bowl? Yes, sir. So, uh, matter of fact, I, I leave Saturday to go to Mobile. Okay. What, so, have you talked to any any? I mean, obviously, I'm sure you've talked to Jim Nagy, and then uh, have you talked to any other former teammates that might have played at the Senior Bowl? What to expect, or what your what your expectation is for the week? Yeah, I, I've asked I've asked around uh, on like the practice schedules and uh, you know um, what to expect to get down there because you know the worst thing to do is just go down there and not ex- uh, not having any type of expectation. Um, I've, I've looked at the last year, last year's game with Damian Lewis and Lloyd in that game maybe like three times just to get a feel. Uh, I've been I I can't tell you how many times I looked at uh, looked at the roster that uh, that they've uh, announced and the and the guys that I'll be competing against. So I'm just kind of getting a feel and getting back into that real game mode mm. uh, for this uh, last week. All right, so you looked at the roster. Oh yes, sir. All right. So, what stands out when you looked at the roster? <laughs> well, just the just the talent everywhere, and, and the and the um, just the tight end talent and and the receivers uh, that they, that they have uh, coming to the game. I mean, the, uh, just about every tight end can do both things with um, blocking and running. Um, I I, um, I wouldn't be a smart man if I didn't mention the uh, quarterbacks that they have coming to uh, the Senior Bowl. Uh, these guys have, I mean, they're seniors, so I mean, they have a lot of experience, but they're also, uh, their arm talent is ridiculous. I think this may uh, this may be one of the strongest arm uh, groups that probably came through the senior bowl. All these quarterbacks can easily just let this ball, let the ball fly, but looking at the, um, looking at the roster defensively, uh, there's going to be help. Um, I mean, shoot, I know there's another, there's a whole, a lot of safety just coming down uh, to the Senior Bowl, I, I mean, I have uh, somebody that I used to play with, in Kerry Vincent. He's coming down, so there's people that you know that can that can really play that that can uh, compete uh, highly against this dynamic offense of personnel that uh, uh, Mr. Nagy and the Senior Bowl put together. Hey, last thing for you, um, and really good to chat, man. Hopefully, we get to do this again. But I, um, I'm curious what you think your position will be at the next level because we had so many conversations here about the possibility of you playing linebacker and maybe even being that type of player considering just how the position has changed in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you've either considered or that NFL teams have actually discussed with you? Oh, yeah. I I mean, I've heard heard play linebacker. I've heard um, play safety. I've heard – I, I just play a whole bunch of positions, and, and uh, for me, and, and like I told my team, and uh, I told uh, coaches at LSU, I've, I've always been wired this way. Whatever the team needs me to play, I'm willing to play. I mean, <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm open to play playing anything. I like, you know, if they tell me to gain a hundred pounds to play DN. You know, I got that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, but I mean. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I don't have a problem with playing anything. Um, at, at the end of the day, I, I'm a football player. I'm somebody who loves football. There's somebody that's a student of the game. So, uh, you know, wh- um, whatever team asks me, uh, addresses me, and 
they, you know, the first day they tell me that I need to play a certain position, you know, that's the position that, you know, I'm going to go back to my trainers and go back to everybody and say, hey, this is the position that uh, they want me to play. So um, let's train and, uh, so I can put my uh, best foot forward. If you had to gain weight to play defensive end, what would you eat? I eat a lot of steak. Oh, There's man. All right. <laughs> I love it. Dude, we just had dudes from Chris's specialty foods in here. We were talking about tomahawk ribeyes and everything, man. I'm oh, a steak man. snob, dude. I love it. I love it. Some steak, some potatoes, some red wine. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, I probably, man. Have to, I probably have to leave the red wine now, but the steak and potatoes sound good. Well, that's true. But <laughs> but eventually, eventually you'll get that pairing down. I don't know if you're training. Yeah, we can't, you can't do that. But uh, if you're going to indulge in a, good, in a good meal, it's not a bad way to do it. Uh, right. Jacoby Stevens on Twitter at Stevens, or excuse me, on Instagram at Stevens underscore Jacoby. Y'all give him a follow, former LSU safety. Hey, man, it's great to catch you up. Uh, health, success, all that stuff to you, man. We'll catch up down the road, all right? Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.